This video will show you everything that's new in OnePager version 7.2. Our 7.2 release features a number of new integrations into leading PPM and CWM platforms. For OnePager Bundle, these new integrations include Planisware Enterprise, Rike, Asana, and Project for the Web. This is in addition to OnePager Bundle's existing connections into Microsoft Project, Project Server, Project Online, Smartsheet, Primavera P6, and Excel. Like OnePager Bundle, OnePager Pro also supports all four editions of Microsoft Project. Microsoft Project Desktop, Project Online, Project Server, and the new Project for the Web. Our support site has detailed instructions on how to connect OnePager 7.2 to each of these new platforms. Conditional formatting is one of OnePager's most powerful features, and in version 7.2, we've given it a significant boost. Traditionally, conditional formatting has been limited to tasks and milestones, but with this newest version, you can now apply conditional formatting to rows, swim lanes, and text columns as well. To get started, go to Home, Chart Properties, Rows and Swim Lanes. In the Swim Lanes section, click on the Manage Rules button. Here, we can create a rule that assigns colors to swim lanes that are tied to the different phases of a project. Once you apply the rule, OnePager will automatically color the swim lanes to match the phases so that you don't have to change colors manually. Conditional formatting for text columns and rows works in much the same way. In the Text Columns section, click the Manage Rules button. Here, we can assign a rule that looks at status. For example, when a task is late, we can highlight the entire row in a light red color and paint the text column cell a darker red color. We can also change the text column font to white for added contrast. Once you apply the rule, OnePager will easily identify any late tasks in your project. Conditional formatting works when you have a timeline layout as well. Let's suppose that you have a project with multiple tasks per row and the status of all of the tasks in each row are not necessarily homogenous. OnePager can use a statistical function to decide when to apply colors. For example, we might want to turn a swim lane or a row green only if all of the tasks are complete, so we can create a rule to look for cases where all tasks meet this condition. Along the same lines, we might want to paint a swim lane or a row red if just one of its tasks are late. For this rule, we'll change the function from all values to at least one value. Here's the end result. The first swim lane turns green because all of its tasks are complete. The second swim lane turns red because some of its tasks, but not all, are late. While conditional formatting of rows, swim lanes, and text columns is probably the most visible change, we didn't ignore where conditional formatting started, tasks and milestones. Users now have the ability to switch to advanced conditional formatting mode which expands conditional formatting to many more properties, including percent complete, baselines, and more. For example, we might want to set up a conditional formatting rule that colors the percent complete bar green when tasks are 100% complete, and sets percent complete to orange or red at lower percentages. With advanced conditional formatting, you now have a lot more ways for your project data to drive the appearance of your one-pager chart. Text Columns, a feature that is already very powerful, also sees a number of upgrades in version 7.2. The first is the ability to compute statistical functions. For example, let's assume that we have a project with cost associated to each task. In a Gantt chart layout, it's easy to display cost for each task in a text column because each text column cell corresponds to only one task. When you switch to a timeline layout, however, there are now multiple tasks per row and the text column cell needs to summarize the costs for all of the tasks to its right. With statistical functions, this is easy to do. Go to Home, Chart Properties, Rows and Swim Lanes. Check the Function box and decide which function should summarize the costs for all of the tasks in the row. In this case, we'll pick Sum, which will add up the costs for each task and provide a total in the text column. Other statistical functions are available as well. For example, you could look at a set of tasks and find the earliest start date, the latest finish date, or the average percent complete. 
Beginning in version 7.2, you can replace the text and text columns with symbols to make your charts even more persuasive. Earlier in the video, we assigned background colors based on the status, but we can just as easily assign a symbol. Go to Home, Chart Properties, Rows and Swim Lanes, and click the Manage Rules button to return to conditional formatting. Add a rule for each status that you expect, and assign a symbol and a color for when those conditions are met. After clicking OK, one pager will replace the text-based status with a symbol, making it easy to quickly identify which tasks are late and which are complete. Because symbol columns are driven by conditional formatting, they'll update as your project changes. So if a task that is late today gets back on track tomorrow, one pager will automatically change the symbol associated with the status so that you don't have to do so by hand. The next major upgrade in OnePager version 7.2 is change tracking. OnePager has always given you the ability to track changes to your project over time using snapshots, but now you'll be able to visualize those changes more easily in two different ways. The first is a new set of conditions in conditional formatting that compares your current snapshot to the previous snapshot. For example, you might want to write a conditional formatting rule that turns tasks red when the finish date has changed since the previous snapshot. To do this, go to Home, Chart Properties, Taskbars, and click the Manage Rules button. We can write a rule that looks at the finish date for all tasks in the project to see whether it has changed, and when it has, assigns a red color. Now, go back to Microsoft Project and change one of your finish dates. This will cause other tasks to shift as well, due to the dependencies in the schedule. Back in OnePager, go to the Data tab and click the Add Snapshot button. OnePager will detect the change to the finish dates and automatically paint tasks red to show the delay. The second way that OnePager can visualize changes to your project is by treating the dates from your previous snapshot as a baseline. Even if you're not baselining your project in the traditional sense, OnePager can look back at the previous snapshot and show you what your dates were then compared to now. To do this, go to Home, Chart Properties, Field Mappings. For the Baseline Start and Baseline Finish fields, map them to the previous snapshot start and previous snapshot finish instead. If you have more than two snapshots, you also have the option to map the baselines to the start and finish dates of your first snapshot, not your previous snapshot. Now, go to the Taskbars tab and ensure that baselines are turned on. When you click OK, OnePager will render the baseline markers that represent how your project looked on the most recent snapshot. The tasks that have slipped, still in red, now also give you a sense for how much the finish dates have changed since the previous snapshot. OnePager's Time Cursor, which is a great way to see how far along your project is, has also gotten a few upgrades in version 7.2. To explore the new ways to format your time cursor, go to Home, Chart Properties, Time Axis, and click on the Time Cursor Properties button. Once there, you'll see a new form that gives you a lot of options for how you would like your time cursor to appear. On the Time Cursor tab, you have the ability to decide whether you'd like your time cursor to appear in the body of the chart, as has been the case traditionally, have it display in the time axis only, or whether it should appear in both places. You also have the ability to add shading, either before or after the time cursor. This is a great way to highlight how much of your project has elapsed, and how much is yet to come. Here's how you can set up shading from the beginning of your project to today's date. Click OK twice, and you'll see the shading appear in the chart. Return to the Time Axis settings, where we can extend the Time Cursor and its shading from the body of the chart up into the Time Axis. Click OK again to see the updated shading. Time Cursor settings also include a Pointer tab, which enables you to add a symbol to the top of the Time Cursor for more emphasis. Here, we can top the Time Cursor with a red triangle and, optionally, also display the snapshot date. Click OK and you'll see the end result with the time cursor extending through the time axis, ending in a red triangle, and reinforcing the snapshot date. Stylistically, the time cursor is not the only aspect of OnePager to get a refresh in version 7.2.
We've also added some new formatting options to tasks and milestones as well. For the first time, taskbars can be transparent or semi-transparent. To adjust the transparency of all taskbars in your chart, go to Home, Chart Properties, Taskbars. There, you'll find a transparency setting. Adjusting this from 0 to 50% will make all of the tasks in your chart semi-transparent. You may find that you want to use transparency on a case-by-case -case basis. For example, you may want to display future tasks with a semi-transparent color and display current tasks in an opaque color. Conditional formatting fully supports task transparency. To add a conditional formatting rule to drive the transparency of your tasks and milestones, go to Home, Chart Properties, Taskbars. Click the Manage Rules button and then make sure that you are in Advanced Conditional Formatting mode. Then, scroll to the right and you'll see the option to conditionally adjust the transparency of the tasks in your project. Drop shadows are another stylistic option available beginning in OnePager 7.2. Once more, we'll go to Home, Chart Properties, Taskbars. Check the Shadow box to enable shadows. If you want more control over the appearance of your shadows, click the Shadow Properties button. Here, you can choose to use OnePager's default shadow or customize your own, with full control over the shadow direction, color, size, distance, and more. In this case, we'll stick to the default shadow, so we'll click OK twice. OnePager will apply a soft shadow to all of the tasks in your chart. With all of these exciting changes available in OnePager 7.2, we wanted to give you a new way to share your charts with your colleagues. Introducing Presentation Mode, a new option that lets you display your OnePager chart like PowerPoint without having to export it. Go to the View tab and click the Present button. OnePager will take your chart, fit it to the screen over a black background, and will remove all of the editing controls so as to avoid any distractions. If you want to change how your chart appears on the screen, simply move your mouse to the bottom and you'll get a pop-up toolbar of handy shortcuts, including page fitting and snapshot navigation. When you're finished presenting, click the Exit button or just hit the Escape key on your keyboard to return to the normal view. For more information, please review our other videos, or you can visit onepager.com forward slash support, or email us at support at onepager.com.